Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Let us go for the next topic <coughs> continuity and differentiability chapter 5 in that the total marks is total marks is 20 total marks is 20 so one mark question is 1 one mark question is 1 two mark question is 2 two mark question is 2 then three mark question is three mark question is 2 then five mark question is 1 five mark question is 1 then four mark question is 1 okay so total is 20, form, 20 marks for this chapter. Okay. Let us start this chapter. In this chapter, let us start from exercise 5.2. So let us solve the we already done in the previous classes in differentiation. So chain rule. So in the exercise 5.2. Topic is chain rule. Okay, let us take the first problem. Find the derivative of the function. Exercise five point two. So in this exercise five point two, let us take the first problem find the derivative find the derivative of the function find the derivative of the function f of x is equal to f of x is equal to sine of x square sine of x square okay so this is the Exercise 5.2 in this exercise 5.2 I have to solve the problems on chain rule. Okay, so <clears throat> Chain rule. Okay, I will not give the any exam. This is a chain rule or this is a product rule quotient rule. How to identify the function? Okay, let us take the function f of x f of x is equal to sine of x square Then differentiation of x f of x is f dash of x is called as a dy by dx differentiate sin x differentiation of sin x is cos x in the place of x there is x square is there again you have to differentiate x square differentiation of x square f dash of x is equal to cos of x square again differentiation of x square is 2x then f dash of x is equal to 2x cos of x square okay Take down the next problem or you can solve this uh, problem by substitution method also. We already discussed the problems on chain rule. Okay. You can solve by the substitution method also or you can solve directly. Find the, find the derivative, find the derivative of the function of the function of the function f of x is equal to tan of tan of 2x plus 3 2x plus 3 okay let us take the function f dash of x sorry f of x is equal to 2x plus 3 then differentiate f dash of x is equal to sorry differentiation the function is tan of 2x plus 3. So differentiation of tan x is secant square x x in the place of x 2x plus 3 is the again differentiation of 2x plus 3 then secant square x of 2x plus 3 then 2 constant x differentiation is 1 1 constant 0 sorry 3 constant 0 then 2 secant square of 2x plus 3 is an answer.
take down the next question The next question is sine of sine of cos or sine of cos x square sine of cos x square okay so let us differentiate this one he has not given the form yeah sorry so y is equal to sine of cos of x square so this is the function okay so differentiation of y with respect to x is equal to sin x differentiation is cos x in the place of x cos is the cos of x as, as it is again differentiation of cos x square differentiate cos x square cos of cos x square cos differentiation is minus sin of x square Again, differentiation of x square. Then cos of cos x square minus sine of sine x square. Again, differentiation of 2x. Again, differentiation of 2x. So then we can write minus 2x sine of x square into cos of cos x square so this is the answer okay so let us take the next problem let us take the next problem this is the third one this is the fourth one let us solve the next fourth problem sine of x square plus phi sine of x square plus phi so y is equal to sine of x square plus phi so differentiate dy by dx is equal to sine x differentiation is cos x in the place of x x square plus phi is there again differentiation of x square plus phi then cos of x square plus 5 then x square differentiation is 2x then 5 differentiation is 0 then 2x of 2x cos of x square plus 5 so this is the answer okay take down the next one <coughs> cos of sin x cos of sin x okay you already solved the problems on the chain rule in the previous classes okay so y is equal to cos of sin x y is equal to cos of sin x differentiation of y with respect to x is equal to cos x differentiation is minus sin of cos minus sin of sin x okay again in the place of x there is sin x how to differentiate okay then dy by dx is equal to minus sin of sin x then cos x sin x differentiation is cos x so let us go for the next problem sixth problem sixth problem what is the sixth problem so I already solved the problem so y is equal to sin of ax plus b sin of ax plus b so differentiation of y with respect to x is equal to sin x differentiation is cos x in the place of x ax plus b is there again differentiation of ax plus b differentiation of ax plus b differentiation of ax plus b you should do 
a x plus b cos of a x plus b as it is a constant x differentiation 1 b constant 0 then a into cos of a x plus b okay Let us go for the next problem. Seventh one. Sine of sine of sorry. secant of secant of tan root x. Secant of tan root x. y is equal to secant of tan root x differentiation of y with respect to x secant x differentiation is secant x into tan x in the place of x tan root x is there again differentiation of tan root x here secant of tan root x tan of tan root x again differentiation of secant square tan x differentiation is secant square x in the place of x there is a root x again you have to differentiate root x then secant of tan root x then tan of tan root x secant square of root x then 1 by 2 root x so this is the answer I take down the next one Sine of AX plus B by cos of CX plus D. CX plus D. Okay, so let us take the given function sine of sine of AX plus B by cos of CX plus D. So the function given function is in the form of fractions. So let us apply the quotient to here. Differentiation of y with respect to x. You know already know the formula for the quotient rule. So let us recall y is equal to u by v. So differentiation of y with respect to x. V differentiation of u minus v u v u sorry u differentiation u differentiation of v by v whole square or denominator differentiation of numerator minus numerator differentiation of denominator by denominator whole square so let us apply the formula here denominator differentiation of numerator minus numerator differentiation of denominator by denominator whole square so cos x as it is so here you have to differentiate sin in the place of x a x is the sin x differentiation is cos x a x plus b as it is again you have to do chain rule a x plus b differentiation then minus sine of ax plus b again differentiation of cos is minus sine of cx plus d again differentiation of cx plus d so 
so cos of cx plus d whole square so cos of cx plus d cos of ax plus b so a constant x differentiation 1 b constant is 0 then sin of ax plus b so minus sin of cx plus d c constant x differentiation is 1 d constant 0 by cos of cx plus d whole square again we can write a cos of cx plus d into cos of ax plus b minus into minus plus sin of ax plus b into sin of cx plus d so here c is the let us put c here c of sin ax plus b by cos of cx plus d whole square okay let us go for the next problem Of, of x cube into sine square of x to the power of 5. Okay, let us take the given function y is equal to cos x cube into sine square of x to the power of 5. So, differentiation of y with respect to x. So, the first function cos x cube differentiation of second function sin square of x to the power of 5 plus second function differentiation of first function cos of x cube then cos x cube sin square here sin square of x to the power of 5 is there so let us apply here x square differentiation is 2x so 2 sin of x to the power of 5 again differentiation of sin x to the power of 5 plus sin square of x to the power of 5 again differentiation of cos differentiation is minus sin x cube again differentiation of x cube here then cos x cube 2 sin of x to the power of 5 sin differentiation is cos x to the power of 5 again differentiation of x to the power of 5 so plus into minus is minus sin square of x to the power of 5 sin x cube 3x square x cube differentiation is 3x square then yes so put 2 here 2 cos x cube sine of x to the power of 5 then cos of x to the power of 5 differentiation of 5 x to the power of 4 minus sine so let us put 3 x square 3 x square sine square of x to the power of 5 into sine x cube then if you multiply here then by 2 is 10 x to the power of 4 cos x cube sin x to the power of 5 cos x to the power of 5 minus 3 x square sin square x to the power of 5 sin x cube so this is the answer okay so let us go for the next problem
the next problem is 2 root of cot x square so y is equal to 2 root of cot x square so differentiation of y with respect to x is equal to 2 constant root x differentiation is 1 by 2 root x 1 by 2 root x differentiation 1 by 2 root x in the place of x there is cot x square is there again you have to differentiate cot x square okay you can cancel this 2 and this 2 dy by dx is equal to 1 by root cot x square differentiation of cot is minus cosecant square x square then minus then again differentiate x square here minus cosecant square of x square by root cot x square again differentiation of x square is 2x so this is the answer so let us solve the next loss problem cos root x so y is equal to cos root x so differentiation of y with respect to x is equal to cos differentiation is minus sin root x in the place of x there is a root x is the okay dy by dx is equal to minus sin root x root x differentiation is 1 by 2 root x so we can write dy by dx is equal to minus sin root x by 2 root x so this is the answer so